Hello again everybody, Adam here. I went to Facebook to supply a link to my latest fireworks tutorial to all my friends there and my friend Lunny Raj asked something that I can easily help with. So what he asks is, hey bro, do you have any idea how to put text along with a div border? I managed to make one but I have a problem in the background color. Please check similar to this. And he put a web page that had something similar to this. So what it is is a content container. It's really a field set with a legend tag. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And then you can put your content inside and you can style your content independently of that tag. And you can also style the actual tags themselves, the field set and the legend tag. And many times you'll see this used in forms to section off different sections of a form. But you can use it really for any content where you can have a content container with a nice border and there'll be a title or a heading stuck right into the border of that content container. Okay, the first thing we'll do is we'll start with a very basic HTML page, just the head tag, the HTML tag, and the body tag there. And what I'm going to do is open a tag and I'm going to call it field set. I'm going to go down one line, I'm going to close that field set tag. I'm going to press control S to save it and I'm going to look in design view. You can see it gives me something of a border there. Now I'm going to go inside and I'm going to type in some content. I'll just say here is some content. And then I'm going to put a paragraph tag just to separate off a new paragraph inside of that field set. Say here is another paragraph. And you can put any kind of content that you want inside of there. So let's close off that paragraph tag. Now let's look at what we have in design view. So you can see we have something of a box there with a border around it that has the content that we just placed inside. Now let's go and give it the legend tag inside of the field set. First thing is legend. Then you can just close it off right there and then put in the title that you want. So you title your box here. Now let's take a look at what we have in design view. You see? Now if we go back into code view Let's press F12 to render this in a browser. And you can see what we have there. It has the title of the box here. And the field set is what's creating the border. And then you have your content inside. And the legend tag is what embeds a title right into the field set tag. Now you can also take this and CSS style it. So let's say we're in a white background on this. Let's go to page properties in Dreamweaver here and let's set the background color for this page to black and apply that. Now you'll notice that if you render out now and you look at it in a browser you can't see any of your text but your border turns white. So let's make the text also white. So the text color by default will be this gray color. We'll apply that. OK. Now let's take a look at it, F12. And we can see everything now. Now let's say we want to change the color of this border, the box border, or maybe you want to change the color of the font inside, or maybe you want to give the box a background maybe. You can do all of that through CSS right here in the field set tag. You can go to uh, field set space, type in ST, and just put in the style attribute with the value of border, and we'll set up a border color of, let's say we wanted it to be red, just for example's sake. That's going to be a really tacky color, but just for example's sake, make it one pixel solid. And now let's take a look at it by pressing F12. In the browser, we see that we have a red border around all the content now. Now let's see if I can go and give this legend tag some style here too, and just color it. Let's give it a color of, I don't know, that yellow. Let's see what happens. Press F12. You can see now I have yellow title and a red border and you can even give this a background the field set you can give it a background here and then when you're done styling everything you can put it up in the CSS and refer to that if you want or you can do it just like this so when you're looking at it in design view in Dreamweaver it's gonna look like that where you won't see any padding really but if you go and press F12 and you look at it in any browser there'll be some padding there and you can style these things up any way you like. So if I gave this a background color, 
this gray. Now I press F12. Save yes. You see, now it has a background color. Okay, so that's how you do it. We'll see you in the next lesson.